What's up YouTube? So, this tank is actually proving to be very very challenging. Um, I recently had an outbreak of ache on this tank, but now I'm battling a different kind of parasite. This one is a nastier one. And I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna actually see if we can take a closer look at it. This one's not visible. Right now it's probably retracted back inside their body. But for those who have encountered this, they probably know what I'm talking about because I'm trying to check the anus of my angel fishes because I'm currently battling this parasite called Camelanus worm so basically it's a transparent worm that goes inside the fishes and basically just eats away the nutrients from the blood of the fish um, if you're gonna see I have a very very thin emaciated fish right here at the back um, I first noticed that worm hanging out of his butt um, a few weeks ago actually and I didn't think it was something I thought it was some kind of um, blockage you know I thought it was something that he ate so I gave him some I gave him some worm I gave him some brine shrimp and so that everything would just start moving along but now that I know what it is it's nastier than what I thought it was so right now I'm actually uh, I actually don't see anything from the fishes because this worm is actually at its uh, at its more advanced stage actually sticks out of the butt of the fish and it's it looks like red spikes and it's a very nasty parasite so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to I'm going to give them a medication called levamisole hydrochloride I tried Prazi Quentrel on this it didn't work so um, from what I've been reading the only medication that will work is the uh, Levamisol hydrochloride so right now I'm gonna do a really probably like 50% water change on this uh, try to gravel vac and uh, as I'm doing that I'm actually gonna start looking for covers because from what I've read the Levamisol medication is very light sensitive so I don't want to risk it not working uh, there's actually different medication dosage from what I've been reading there's a 13 part per million per gallon and uh, there's another one that is um, two part per million uh, what I'm think what I think I'm going to go for is uh, the three part per million just because I have loaches in here and I don't wanna I don't really want to stress them out so much uh, from what I've read according to the link from loaches.com I'm gonna put the link at the bottom from the links that I've been like reading um, just hold on the dog is making a lot of noise right there sorry about that <laughs> they wanted out but like yeah according to the links that I've been reading like um uh, especially from uh, loach.com um, it says the two point two part per million is enough to paralyze the paralyze the worm so that the fish will screed it out so um, and then like I have to do a 20 per hour dark uh, darkness on this tank um, light out on this tank uh, and see how that goes uh, this medication starts now I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a water change first and probably after a few hours I'm gonna start dosing the other fish tanks I'm gonna do a massive water change tonight 
for everything also the beta tank is really i'm not sure what's happening to my beta but like he's really stressed out right now so i'm i'm not sure if he's gonna make it to be honest but um we'll see right now we're in the process of cleaning out the water uh, i'm probably gonna do a 50 percent water change um i don't want to go beyond that just because um I want my fish to not be stressed out already. They're already stressed out probably about um, the cold weather. Look at that. They're like just playing with the sand. I actually like angelfish just because they're very playful species. Um, I really enjoy watching them. Um, and by now I know that the ones I got from the online uh, store are not actually Peruvians. I don't know what they are But they're growing on me. It doesn't really matter to me to be honest right now if I'm gonna If I'm gonna count how much money I <coughs> Excuse me I spent buying them uh, I'd probably be <laughs> sad about it, but I'm just happy that I got them uh, those ones are the wild like you see they're starting to form like a very beautiful blue gill plate those are the actual wild ones the actual wild peruvian ones and these ones are they're probably just some silver with a very uh what how do you say this very big percentage of the wild blood see the difference this one is an actual wild type and this one is not so yeah but still they're all beautiful to me and I think they all deserve a chance to have a better living environment um, so yeah I'll be back after I do some water change and I actually am going to cover the tank with this um uh, I'll see if I can get like um a newspaper so I can cover the tank more because I don't want some ambient light going into the tank but yes I'll keep searching and I'll be right back by the way if you guys are ever wondering what the medication is this is the medication that I bought online let's see if I can focus that Never my soul HCL hydrochloride um, this is actually a dewormer for cattle and sheep and um, other livestock but um, I got this from everything aquatic um, there's an online calculator about how much you can dose this one um, it really depends on how much potency you want but from what I've read Overdosing is not gonna make the process any more shorter. So uh, I'll just go. I'll just be conservative, just because I do have sensitive fishes in here, and I don't want them to suffer. So yeah, I'll be right back with you once I'm done doing some water change. So right now I'm starting to refill the um, 180 gallon. Um, this is the 55 gallon right now and I'm thinking of dosing this one too. From what I've read, um, Camelanus worm is very, very infectious. So, if you're gonna see, this is a Siamese algae eater that I have. And those ones are rose line sharks. Um, I've been noticing that recently they are not growing um, and they're, they seem to be really skinny so Camelanus worms um, there's sometimes there's no visible signs but like on a case like this especially if you have multiple tanks like this um, they're gonna be present in most in all of your tanks especially like me I didn't really have a lot of um, patience and time with regards to like 
disinfecting those so um yeah like it's very inevitable uh like it can be transferred from droplets of water so um i'm using only one siphon and i'm pretty sure i already infected the other tanks just because i usually start with the 180 gallon and then just go from that to the 55 down to the 20 and down to the 10 so i'm pretty sure i already infected all these tanks so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just refill this tank uh refill the 180 and then do this um 55 gallon today and after that i'm going to the i'm going for the 20 gallon and then the 10 gallon tank right there so yep that's what we're gonna do so right now i'm here looking at the I live on my soul view on my uh, lab on my laptop and um, it says here according to this that uh, there's a lot of um, worms that gets treated by this one and that includes the one that we have right now the camelanus worms and uh, that's a form of nematode and um, this is basically the life cycle of that so what happens is that this worm will lay its egg in the water column you know and then the larvae is gonna get eaten it's gonna get eaten by a crustacean and um, basically that crustacean is gonna get eaten by the fish um, but there's another species of um, camelanus that doesn't need a crustacean as a intermediate host and can just go straight to um, fishes and affect them and that is the um, Camelanus coti so um, this one is also being treated uh, with uh, Levimiso um, according to this actually that two part per million if you can see that the two part per million level my soul base is enough um, to kill that um, but um, according to another website uh, that I'm going to put at the bottom as well it says there that it's supposed to be 13 milligrams or 13 grams or 13 part per million um, which I'm not sure if I would follow as I mentioned earlier because of the presence of uh, Corridoras in my tank so I'll probably just go to three parts per million uh, and we'll see what happens I'm going to put all the links at the bottom of this so that everyone can see if they ever have a case of this nasty nasty parasite so a quick summary according to this website it is safe and effective for aquarium use it doesn't harm the biofilm which is very important um, just because you don't want to do another cycling of the tank especially if your fishes are in there it's also safe for plants and invertebrates uh, that include shrimp and snails in your tank and it also has an it also has a stimulating effect on the immune system of the fish um, so what we would do is we're going to determine the dosage for the tank and for me I'm going for the three part per million um, that is a bit higher than what this website recommends and it also says the treat with the lights off and increase aeration just because every time you do a medication the water chemistry changes the pH um, gets affected um, also like uh, you need more oxygen in the tank um, perform a largest water change fire treatment I've been doing a lot of water change these past few days prior to this that's why I didn't do as much today I only did like probably 40% today because I don't want to shock my fishes um, and I'm going to treat once 
for 24 hours so basically I'm just gonna keep the tank off tank slide off for 24 hours and then do another large water change and vacuum after and then return the tank to normal lighting after that and then I'm going to treat again after a week of water after a week after a water change and another week I'm going to do another of that another water change and then I'm going to return to the normal schedule and then on a, another week or two I'm going to do another treatment of the liver mysole the same procedure the same water change so that's why I'm telling you guys this is a very nasty parasite that I'm dealing with right now but it can be treated so right now I'm going to do a measuring of the liver mysole uh, I'm gonna do a three part per million uh, measure and I recently have this um, I recently have that I got that from online and uh, I'm gonna measure it using this gram scale right here so I went to this level my soul dosage wizard um, I'm also gonna put a link on that one um, it says here the target level my soul hydrochloride and I'm aiming for three parts per million uh, if, you, if you don't have if you don't have the gram scale you can do ounce and you can also like do the teaspoons but like it's just me I want to be sure how much medication I'm putting in this so I'm going for the grams which is 2.044 grams that I need to be able to fulfill the 3 part per million milligram so right now I'm just doing a water change I'm just filling this up and then I'm just gonna start putting in the medication of course I'm gonna turn off the lights for 24 hours on this tank uh, I fed them before I do the medication I'm probably still gonna feed them in the morning but it's not necessary but um yeah I mean like uh basically this is it I still have to wait a few more weeks and I'm gonna do an update of this but after this video I'm probably going to do a follow-up video about the camelanus worms and we're gonna tackle how nasty this parasite is and yeah if you like this video if you think you learned something from it uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button or made any comment or suggestion at the bottom um, you're free to do so um, it will be nice to hear nice comments but you know um, you're free to do or give your opinion um, anyway once again um, this is me saying have a good one and um, fish out